What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, back with another review for you guys. Uh, I wanted to do something for Valentine's Day, and I couldn't think of what to do, you know? Everyone does my bloody Valentine and Valentine, and maybe like Lover's Lane or something like that. And uh, there's not a whole lot of Valentine's Day horror movies, so uh, I just wanted to do something. So why not do a porn, right? I mean, nothing says Valentine's like porn. So... This is one I've been wanting to watch for a really long time. You guys already know what it is by the title. I'm not sure the pronunciation, but that is La Femme Object or something like that. Or La Femme Object or something. I, I'm not really sure. I can't even really show the back of this cover because of the nudity. Um, yeah. Been wanting to watch this one for a really long time. Uh, sorry, I don't have any like intro for you guys. Uh, you can drop down the description, check all that stuff out if you want and everything but um yeah i just wanted to do something for valentine's day and hopefully this gets out uh on that day um if not shortly after so this is a french uh porn uh but you know I i'm gonna start by saying this isn't um when, when i when i think the word porn i don't i don't think a movie like this because this was actually shot like an actual film and it just has a lot of sex in it and when I say a lot, I mean a lot. Um, from like a couple minutes into the film to damn near the very end of the film. Um, so I, I didn't uh, transfer this one over to the drive or anything to show you guys footage of the movie itself because I'd have to put black bars over everything and that's really a pain in the ass to do um, when there's a lot of movement. So um, I, I, I will th try to throw up some uh, pictures and stuff like that. It's a lot easier to... Uh, paint over that crap or something on a photo than it is on moving uh, film. So, uh, yeah, uh, very, very basic uh, storyline on this one. Uh, it's pretty much a guy who is a science fiction writer with a very healthy sexual appetite. And uh, his, his mistress, his lover, whatever, um, is keeping up with them at first, and after a while, it becomes too much for her to take. Uh, she can't handle his his sexual needs, his desires anymore. Uh, it's it's wearing her out, and uh, so at one point he goes and gets a secretary, and uh, starts you know fucking her, and you know she's keeping up with him, and she's you know great, everything's perfect. And then she ends up leaving him, saying, hey, you know, I want to go live life, blah, blah, whatever. And then at that point, he's like, well, I guess I will have to create my sexual monster, my um, person to keep up with my needs, my desires. And uh, he creates Kim, uh, played by Marilyn Jess, who is absolutely fucking gorgeous, by the way. Uh, this is my first introduction to her, and wow, um, just a beautiful, beautiful body, beautiful face. Uh, the way that she 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 moves and everything is just perfect in this film. And uh, I believe this was like her first. Uh, I, I know this was like her first adult film, but very early acting as well. She was like a I think a model and um, stuff like that before. She was used to like lingerie and stuff like that. So. Uh, going in this direction wasn't like a huge step, I guess, but um, yeah, just absolutely a knockout. And uh, there is a bunch of trailers on here of her other films as well, uh, which I'll get into when I go over the features here in a bit. But um, yeah, he creates her, and everything is great for a while. He controls her with this little remote, and that's my only kind of <clears throat> gripe about this movie. I know there's always gonna be something I bitch about in my videos. You guys that watch know I have to complain about something, right? Because that's just what the fuck I do, you know? It's my channel. It's my opinion. Watch it or don't. Anyways, um, is they could have made that thing a little bit more uh, high-tech sci-fi. Uh, it's just like a little black uh, controller that he holds in his hand. It's got like an up and down button and a really long fucking antenna. I, I don't know. That, that's my only complaint, though. I mean, it's a fucking porn. Who cares? But uh, I, I just thought, you know, you're creating this this uh, sex robot. You should have, like, a... Anyways, whatever. Uh, this film was from 19... 
80. Uh, I believe it came out in 81, though. Does it not want to tell me on the back here? Not sure. Uh, but when you start watching the movie, it says 1980 on the uh, opening credits. So, uh, I know technology back then wasn't, uh, you know, what it is today, but, you know, it could have been something. And there is an homage to Star Wars in here. He's got a little R2-D2 uh, robot <laughs> during a scene where a girl is uh, pleasuring herself. And, uh, yeah, he, he creates her. Everything's great for a while. And uh, he even has her, like, hook up with other guys and other girls while he watches, things like that. And uh, eventually she takes control of herself and does things that he doesn't necessarily want her to do. And starts disobeying and everything. She gets a hold of the controller at a certain point. Uh, yeah. So he's like, all right, fuck it. I'm going to go make another one. So he makes another one. And uh, everything is great with that for a while. Then she gains control over him and her. Uh, <laughs> so he is now the slave of, of them two, of her and, uh, you know, her uh, her sex robot. Um, spoilers! <laughs> um, yeah, I mean... I, I, I wasn't too concerned with spoilers on this one because it is a very simplistic story and it is an adult film. So uh, I just wanted to go over, you know, my thoughts on, on the film altogether. Um, again, shot very, very well. And just, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, the cinematography is great. The music is great. Uh, the acting is actually pretty damn good for an adult film. Um, everybody did a great job. The... The sex scenes are shot really well as well as the rest of the film. What little isn't a sex scene. But um, there, there are some good camera angles. And there is... Um, uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not used to reviewing adult films. So uh, there, there is lots of orgasms. You know, uh, lots of cum shots. <laughs> lots of uh, other, other sexual positions and things and uh you know a lot, lot of a lot of doggy though that seems to be the the trend of this one a lot of that going on but uh which is fine um whatever uh yeah just uh and, and man the guy i forget his name in this already um the main guy in this wow the stamina man and and there's some behind the scenes there's a uh arc a, a new um Interview with uh, the main stars and everything, uh, Marilyn Jess, and I'm drawing a blank on his name. Uh, and he said he only had to have a stand-in one time, and it's one scene where he's um, pleasuring himself to his mistress at the time, who was kind of like passed out, but you see her body exposed, uh, and that is only time. It is not him. And they, I mean, they made this movie within like a few days or some shit, you know. And to have that kind of stamina, man, wow, fuck, dude, that's <laughs> that's crazy. Um, as you guys know, you, you got to have time to recoup, right? I mean, uh, this guy is a machine. So it's not, he even says in the interview, it's not too far-fetched from his real life at the time. You know, he was a pretty, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't, I don't know. He, his stamina was insane back then. So, um, I guess overall, I, I really enjoyed this one. Um. It, it did get a little, I, I'm not going to say I, I don't enjoy adult films, because I, I do, I mean, obviously, um, but uh, I haven't really watched a whole lot of uh, movies like this, like, all the way through. I mean, you guys, you guys know, when when you're going to do something you want to do, you, you get online and you watch a video for a few minutes and you're done, whatever, you know? You, you don't. A lot of people don't sit and watch actual whole films, and I'm just now getting into this. You know, I mean, a lot of people do as well, obviously, because they sell a lot of them. But uh, I don't know where I'm going with this. Um, it, it got kind of. Uh, at, at first, the the sex scenes are kind of erotic and everything, and arousing. And then after a while, it's just like, all right, well, here's another sex scene. You know, I mean, not that I don't enjoy it watching it. It just becomes like part of the movie okay now we're just i'm just watching this i'm not doing i'm not watching this for personal pleasure necessarily i'm watching it as a film um and and the eroticism of it kind of um evades your mind after a while because it's so prevalent in this movie it's it's 
happens so often that you, you become a little numb to it and uh, you're just watching it for the uh, like I said the cinematography of it and the story of it too you know um, this this poor guy just you know he just wanted he just wanted a woman that, that could keep up with him and he ends up you know being being their um, slave at the end but uh, yeah I don't know I'm gonna make this one really short I mean it's it's a very simple story but yeah, Marilyn Chess is just whew, wow. Um, like I'd mentioned, there is uh, like eight or nine, ten trailers or some shit with uh, her in it, and um, the one that looked the most interesting. There's one set back in like the colonial days and shit, and they have a um, a self uh, propelling um, vibrator that you have to hand crank, and that, that scene just made me laugh. I, I don't know. Anyways, um, on here, like I said, you do get those. The last porno in Paris, the making of, uh, with Marilyn Jess, Dieter Felipe, Ron, Richard Allen, I think was the, um, main guy in this. Uh, it's like an hour long making of them. Very, very interesting. And you have Marilyn Jess in there as well. And she's aged pretty good. Um, and you have, uh... Oh, you have a 12-minute restoration process, which I watched about half of. It got kind of boring, but it was still fascinating, I guess. Um, trailers by uh, Claude Moulet. Uh, 38 minutes of those and 25 minutes of the Maryland Jess trailers. So, yeah. And you do have an English audio track on here, which I did watch. And it, the, the voiceovers were done by people involved with the film. Uh, as you'll find out in the making of this is restored in 2k the transfer looks absolutely amazing wow they did a great job like i said i watched about half of the um transfer part it's all subtitled and everything so is the uh making of but i, I did watch all of that um yeah uh so yeah it, it looked and sounded fantastic and just a, a beautiful beautiful transfer um yeah, other interesting fact, which you'll learn from the uh, making of, is a lot of the clothes that uh, Marilyn Jess is wearing in this are her own clothes. Uh, she actually has these like knee-high uh, black leathery boots and the things she wears around her neck and all that. She brought all that stuff with her. Uh, the only thing she said that wasn't hers is some red boots that she has on in a certain scene. Other than that, <clears throat> everything that she has on in this film is her own stuff she's like a kind of dominatrix uh type person outside of films so uh she doesn't say a whole lot in this um actually i don't even remember like words that she said <laughs> to be honest uh but she didn't have to she says a lot with her emotions uh and that's one thing they touch on too is uh she was kind of a uh, dancer like a ballet dancer and her movements and everything. I, I think she was a ballet dancer. Maybe I'm maybe I'm mistaken on that. Don't quote me on that. I could be getting that confused with something else. Um, but her movements and everything and her facial expressions, they wanted her to kind of have like this half open mouth and kind of this, um, this strut that she does. Um, just, it's just amazing. The way that she moves is fantastic. So definitely interested in seeing some other Marilyn Jess films. And uh, it tells you how she got her name as well. Uh, of course, Marilyn from Marilyn Monroe. And she was actually going to go with another name, but it was kind of taken at the time for her last name. And the Jess name just came from some, like, shop she went to or something. And she just threw it on there or something like that. It was just a uh, not real um, thought out part of it, but everybody seemed to like the way it sounded. So she just rolled with it. So... All right, I think that's gonna do it, guys. Like 15 minute review. That's pretty pretty cool. Um, again, I'm trying to shorten the reviews and uh, not keep you guys here for 30, 40 minutes. You know, just tell you whether or not a movie is worth watching. I think this one is worth watching. If you guys are new to uh, adult films, um, if you guys just usually get on fucking Pornhub or some shit for your for your pleasure, and that's all you've seen, give erotic uh, erotic cinema a chance, um, especially the vintage stuff. I mean. They, they put a lot of work into this, and you can really tell. And like I said, there is a story, even though it's pretty simple. Um, 
and how this this sci-fi writer just automatically knows how to make a mind-controlled um, sex robot is uh, <laughs> they don't really go into any detail on that at all. She's just on a table, and next thing you know, she's a robot to pleasure him. <laughs> so, which is fine. Like I said, it's an adult film. I don't expect it to go into grave detail. Um, he does mention um, like Frankenstein's monster and things like that. He wonders, you know. Uh, what it would have been like with that and everything if uh, you know they would have created this um, for sexual pleasure as well um, back then and uh, so there is some homages to some other uh, film aspects as well but yeah don't know why I keep moving my hands it's just what I do and uh, yeah that's I'm gonna leave you guys with that uh, again I think if you're you're edging into adult film I think this is a great purchase uh, along those lines. It, it doesn't, like I say, have a have a complex story. It's not shot real cheesy like a lot of pornos are. Um, like, hey, I'm here with your pizza. Let's fuck. You know, like, it's not like that. It's it's an actual film. It feels like an actual film, and um, you can tell the people involved with it really loved what they were doing. So. Um, High recommend for me. I think it's fantastic. And uh, I don't think it was very long, though. Uh, it's not going to tell me how many minutes this is either, is it? Uh, it does say 1981 on here, by the way. But it says 1981. It starts. Mm, yeah, I don't I don't remember how long it was. It, it seemed pretty short, though. Uh, this is still in stock on the Vinegar Syndrome site with the slipcover, and the slipcover is absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah, from a Pulse video. So look forward to seeing what else they release under that line. Uh, and uh, yeah, damn, we're over. We're almost at, see, we're at 17 minutes now. I keep, keep stalling. <laughs> All right, uh, nothing special for this video, guys. Like I said, no special intro, no uh, nothing. I just wanted to get this review out there. For you guys. So, yeah, I say grab it. There's like uh, 279 left in stock at this moment. I still actually have it up on the screen behind me. So I was uh, looking for some images. I couldn't really find any, like, Googling and stuff. Uh, so I just went to the Vinegar Syndrome site. Um, but, uh, yeah, and I uh, did my shitty uh, pain over the scenes I can't show. So um, I apologize for my non-artsy uh, coverage uh, yeah, I, I say grab this shit, guys, uh, before it sells out. I mean, 279 left. It'll probably last a little while, but, uh, I, I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, that, that's all I got, guys. As always, peace, love, happiness to all of y'all. And I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.